I'm so proud of PJ. I've taught him how to use a knife and fork, and he's doing real good. Good morning guys, Uriah helped me grind the coffee beans, pour the water, oh, no. now he's so waiting, to... pressed all the buttons, he's waiting for, waiting so badly. he's waiting for mom to come out so he can pour her some fresh coffee, maybe we should get all the ingredients she likes too for her coffee, what do you think, like some sugar, some cream, you think so? All right, we got the sugar. Like? I don't know. You have to ask her. I don't know what she. I don't know how many she likes. Don't open it yet. Just wait. We just get it. We just get it out for her so she can do it herself. Okay. We just get everything ready for her so she can have nice fresh coffee in the morning. <laughs> this guy cannot even wait, and he's not even out here yet. <laughs> oh, she's coming. She's coming. Say good morning, mom. Good morning. I made you. I made you fresh coffee. <gasps> you made me coffee. Thank you, Bubba. Okay, Uriah, now's your time, Chance. Uriah, you're literally one of the best helpers in this family. <gasps> Thank you. Are you going to help put some scoops of sugar in there for her, Uriah? You do some sugar for me? Yeah, yeah. Can you do me like two scoops? Yeah, I know. It's stuck on there. Dig it in more. Remember like how you scoop the beans. Okay, perfect. One. Two. Good. Thank you. Oh, you gotta get her a chopstick so she can mix, mix, mix. I got her one earlier. <laughs> mix it now? I'll pour this because it's kind of big. And then you mix it while she's pouring in, okay? Whoa. <laughs> Alright, let me give it a taste here. Let me see if it's good. It looks perfect. Doesn't that look perfect? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's perfect. Mm -hmm. This is what I needed. You want to pour daddy some coffee too? Should I take me a little bit? I don't need oh I don't need sugar. I just need black coffee. Where are you going? Just push it right here. Just push it in. Push it? Yep. How much? Mm, like halfway. More than half. Thanks, buddy. So wow, Power and Uriah made me coffee today. Usually I'm the one making coffee, but I'm still not feeling that great. Yeah, Power, I made both of the cups. Yeah, Power says I need to see the doctor, but it's Sunday, so I will probably try to call tomorrow. So yesterday I started feeling this pain right behind my ear, like where the bone is. It's not a headache. It's like where the bone is, like where your skull is. And it just felt like, it feels like someone is stabbing you with a knife every 15 to 30 seconds. Right now, maybe I would say like maybe more like 30 seconds, 30 or more. Um, so I guess it's a little bit better. But I've been taking Motrin. I've been putting <laughs> this ointment on there. Smells like vapor rub. Doesn't smell the greatest. But um, I've been putting this ointment. What else have been I've been doing? Power's been doing like a heat pack for me and I'll just like lay in bed with it. And it, it does help. The heat pack actually does help. But yeah, I feel a little bit better, but not that much better. So if by tomorrow I don't feel a lot better, then I will call my doctor. I'm just really bad about going to the doctor and I have a new um, PCP, uh, primary Care. care physician yeah I have a new one so I've never been there I would have, probably have to fill out all the paperwork if I go I should probably ask to do a physical because <laughs> it's been like five years ever since this guy I haven't seen a doctor man <laughs> 
so it's been a long time. Power tube. Power's really bad at seeing the doctor too, not just me. I don't need it. We are good with taking our kids to the doctor on time. Not so much ourselves. So, um, anyways, yeah, I just felt it right now. <laughs> All right, I took some Motrin about 30 minutes ago and I'm starting feel, to feel a little bit better. So um, I'm gonna venture out. I've been texting my brother. He wants a little sample of our Thanksgiving <laughs> feast. So I just packed him as much leftovers as possible. Um, basically a little bit of everything that we still have. And I'm just gonna drop it off at my mom's cause he's gonna go drop my mom off later. So I'm gonna do that right now. Uriah, I, I'm just gonna make him a cup of noodle. I made it for him already, it's cooling off. But I have a roast to make when I get back, so. I don't know, I didn't time it properly because my head was hurting earlier. I took the roast out at like 6.30 a.m. So it's been, you're supposed to like let it come to room temperature. And so I was gonna get it in the oven around like 12.31. It's gonna bake for about 27 minutes and then you're supposed to just let it rest for two hours. So it's kind of it's gonna be Yeah, maybe like three something four o'clock by the time it's done Which is kind of an odd hour to eat, but we'll just we'll just play it by ear um, Yeah, I'll just grab something to eat when I come back to but Uriah said he was starving, so that's why I made him his cup of noodle. Is it good? I need, I need to stop looking at right? our comments. Okay, so right? now right? we are also right? missing right? our crab baby dollhouse. Oh, look at that roast. <laughs> I'm trying to pat it dry. I'm trying to get it going here. I have the oven preheating. Dude, that thing looks good, man. You're gonna like cut it like it's this only, way, like a big old piece of. Yeah, meat. but there's oh, only really man. two ribs. I mean, it's not. It's not that much. Bye. Okay, good job, Uriah. So, anyways, I am patting it dry. I've made my herb butter that I'm gonna slather on, basically using this herbs de Provence. I don't know. Um, and then maybe you should save like a little scoop of this so I could put it on my uh, primer at the end. <laughs> and then kosher salt all around. That's it. Looks delish. I'm excited for dinner. Early dinner. Yes. All right, guys. This is the before picture. I'm still waiting for my oven to preheat, so it's gonna hang out in here until it's ready, and I'm gonna pop it in. Uh, you just had a bite of chicken. Do you remember eating that a lot last year? <laughs> I think we had <coughs> this a lot. <coughs> you okay? <coughs> dying. You don't seem like you're okay. <coughs> I said I'm dying. Just kidding. I know. We used to have it a lot during the winter when it was super cold, and then it hasn't been that cold lately, so we haven't made it in a long, long time. But it's really good. Mm -hmm. Remember it? He said it's his second favorite noodles. I am also having some. Maybe my first favorite. I'm not sure. Oh, I'm also having it, but I'm just standing here eating it from the pot because I don't want to put it in the bowl. Yeah. My rib roast is in here. It's done searing. Can you hear that? So now it's two hours of it just kind of like baking in there. Um, no, no oven, just like, it's just cooking in the residual heat and it's like sizzling. I hope it turns out well. I don't know <laughs> if it will, but crossing my fingers that it'll turn out well and we'll have a nice dinner do you know what we're having for dinner it's called prime rib what? what is that it's like a hunk of meat kind of like steak but a little different it's beef yeah i know you do hopefully it's tender and flavorful if it, if it like tough i don't yeah, yeah. you're you're not really into tough meat yeah. What I was gonna say about this was that I add kimchi to it and it is so, so, so delicious. I don't know what it is about that combination, but it's just so delicious. And the kimchi that I have, I think it's like better grade kimchi than just like the cheap, cheap stuff that I would normally get. And it's like really sour, so it's like so good. Oh, it smells so good. I don't even know how to cut this. <laughs> 
Yeah. You need a carving knife. Mm, I don't want a carving knife. My hands are a little greasy, so I'll slip. Wow. Ooh, look at that. pretty good. Mm, I got a little mm, stuck. No. So you're supposed to like cut off the, you know, the bones here, but. Mm. <laughs> I'm so nervous. I can feel the bone and I just don't want to butcher it. Yeah. One bone piece cut off. Look at that. What's this? It's a little overdone. The other side looks more raw. Like the inside inside. So I think if you eat this part that mm. good. Do you want any corn? Sure. This is for me right here? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Basically <laughs> dinner time. Woohoo! Oh man, that looks so good. Like so beefy. <laughs> <laughs> Is it tender? Is it flavorful? Tell me, tell me! It's pretty flavorful. Okay. It's pretty tender. <laughs> Therefore, it's pretty good! Dad, you don't know how to describe it. I wouldn't know how to describe it either. Sure, why not? I mean, I wouldn't say that it's like four star steakhouse quality, right? But for like homemade, mm -hmm. not bad. Better than the one we had last time. The for real. <laughs> that was a New York steak. It was too lean. You ready? You want to try some meat? A little bit. No, this is the meat. How is it? Salty? What are you? Adjust. Adjust. I think he got an outside piece and it was also salty. Yeah. Outside piece? Your taste tastes uh, just a normal piece. Okay. Normally people serve this with like oju or like the horseradish. Uh, I did not prepare, prepare any of that. So it's that. just the hunk of meat. We don't need that. That's salty though. Oh boy. Yeah, I'll let you hold on to that Bribing Uriah for six shots for a jello. He just made one. Like, that's like the first shot he made. We just got out here. Yeah, that was my first shot. Baller. Baller. Oh, good try. All right, Uriah's made five. It's the last one. Number six. Am I going to make it? Clutch factor. You will make it. Oh. No, you didn't. You got your clutch factor. <laughs> Come on, make it. Show me your clutch factor. Clutch factor. Uh, I know you're going to drain this one. You're going to drain it. You are. Believe in yourself. Believe in the clutch. Believe in the clutch. High five, buddy. Good job. Frozen jello for the champ. Is it yummy? Good job, buddy. Proud of you. I'm so proud of PJ. I taught him how to use a knife and fork. And he's doing real good cutting the meat all by himself. Oh man, my back hurts. Oh, I think this is it as well. First one of you to find the treasure chest gets to pick who leaves next. Oh, what? Yes. Eating all sophisticated. How's the prime rib? Good? What are you doing? Did you have any of the corn yet? I just know that you think okay. you're going to try to put it next to like a landmark of some sort. Oh, oh god! Good job, PJ. Power's all like, oh, do you want some kitchen, like, kitchen scissors? I'm like, I guess you can use the kitchen shears, but 
Oh, he, this boy just got a lot of use knife and fork, okay? That's the right way to do it anyways. I just don't know how he found it so fast. Like, I'm sitting there looking for in the sand. Carl. Okay, that's not. <laughs> yeah. Inside is a golden coconut. Whoever you throw this golden coconut at is out. Make your decision. He likes to eat his uh, food compartmentally, so he'll eat like all of one thing, then he'll move on to the next thing, eat all of that. Yeah. I love you. He doesn't like to mix and match. If it's like a fatty piece or a stringy piece, you don't have to eat it. Okay. Tyler. Okay. Yeah, I also wanted to try using the knife. Oh man, this boy's growing up. Good job. Be careful with the knife, boy. Don't just fling it around, okay? Is it good? Hey, if you play with the knife, I'm gonna take it away. Sure. Here's your meal for the day. Good? I like it. Mark's sausage. Jake, you look like a sausage. What is this? So you literally just pour hot water on it, and you're gonna get Mexican sausage. Stupid if you need to. Don't put the knife to your mouth, okay? We chopped up the prime rib into easy to eat cubes. <laughs> it look very appetizing, but it's gonna be much easier to eat tomorrow. Yeah, way easier. Prime rib was a hit. I think everybody liked it. Tonight is a school night. Kids are going back to school finally. So they're in bed, and we're gonna go ahead and call it a night. So thanks for watching, guys. If you like the thumbs up, comment below, subscribe if you haven't. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye, guys.